Hey guys, Pastor Phil here with another Cornerstone U teaching video. So last time we talked about two Greek words that basically were used for the English word church. Today I want to get into why those two words cause, cause us a problem today. See, the, the two words, ekklesia, a noun meaning a body or a gathering, and then the other word, kyriakos, uh, meaning uh, the Lord, so belonging to the Lord, those two words were used in, in totally different ways. Ecclesia is a noun, it's, it means a thing. So literally it meant a body, like a body of believers, or a body of Christians. Kyriakos is an adjective, and it was used far less in scripture than the Ecclesia. But as time moved on, and phrases like you know, the house of the Lord, or the Lord's church, became more popular, uh, Kyriakos became a more default word for church, and, and generally for church building, but it evolved to become the default English word for church. And so we, we miss something from the original Greek there when we use the word church to describe where we go and what we do on Sundays. To be clear, words are important because words have meaning They communicate our beliefs and our expectations. So when you say church, what, are you, what belief are you communicating and what expectations do you hold in your heart? Are you talking about going to a place for an event? Or are you talking about being a part of a body, being part of a unified group for a single purpose? See, Ecclesia communicates that. It communicates a, a, a body that's of individuals who gather together for a, for a purpose or for a topic for, or for a certain time or a certain reason. Whereas Kyriakos just to kind of describes the building. I mean, it does say, it, in a sense, says that we belong to God, but it loses so much more than that. Because, see, church is not just a, a thing or a place or a time or a service. It's a living organism. It's a body. It's a movement. It, it's a family. When you say ecclesia, when you, when you communicate church, you should be communicating your belief that you are a part of something bigger than yourself. With, with, with God at the head, with Christ as our elder brother, you are a part of something that matters for eternity and that you have a part to play in that. Do you come to church with the expectation of just receiving or do you expect to receive something and also to give? And I don't mean in the tithes and offering that we appreciate that. I mean that you come to be ministered to but also to minister, to bless others, to encourage others. You are part of the body. You are part of the movement. You are part of the gathering. You belong Long here have a role to play. You don't just come for an event. You're not just a spectator. You are a participant. And ecclesia, body gathering, assembly, communicates that. It communicates a unity and a togetherness that is important for church. We're going to get a little deeper in this next time, but why don't you think about that? What do you believe? What do you expect when you communicate the word church? When you say, I'm going to church, or do you say, I am part of the church? Thanks for watching. See you next time.